end of the year is upon us again, and it's time to review our annual reports, send holiday cards to our clients, or just tidy up our databases. In this video, we're going to review some of the most common questions we receive in technical support pertaining to end-of-year processing. As always, if you have additional questions, please don't hesitate to contact our technical support team at 877-838-9273. When printing reports at the end of the year, it's not necessary to print on the last day of the year, as you're probably aware. Avamark will allow you to print reports for any period, no matter the date. That is, unless you're needing the current on-hand amounts and stock values to reference at a later date. At the beginning of the year, Avamark will prompt you to print the inventory report as soon as you open Avamark. This prompt will continue to display until the report is printed. As stated previously, this prompt will default to showing up the first time Avamark is opened on January 1st of each year. However, if your fiscal year starts on a different date and you want to be prompted to run the inventory report for that date, you can change the setting in your advanced options. Avamark will recognize the report as being printed by physically printing the report or by using Excel, PDF, or the XPS document writer. It will not be recognized as being printed if the report is just preview printed. The inventory report will always print with the current on hand and stock value, and this is the reason why it's necessary to print on the first business day of the next year. Unfortunately, if you fail to print or save this for reference next year, Technical support cannot provide a practice with how much they had on hand or their stock value at the end of the year. A note to remember, this report may not be printed for any specified date. It only prints current figures of the time in which the report was printed. Let's take a look at the print report window. Use the drop-down menus to organize the report by category, Vendor or Neither, which will list all items alphabetically. You can sort the report by code, description, cost, price, or location. Restrict the report for items expiring in a specified number of days. You can also print the report by report code or limit the report to items which have a specified action code. With the totals only box, Avamark will print only category or vendor stock value totals. You can also include those items marked obsolete. Select Include Drug Labels to include associated prescription labels on the report. If you don't want inventory costs to print on the report, select the Don't Print Cost Values. You can also choose a format whereby Avamark will insert a column called Actual with data entry points for you to manually write in the actual inventory quantities on the shelf. If you click the Item Details box, Avamark will include doctor's instructions on the report. And if you click the Sales box, Avamark will report sales figures for the last 12 months. Let's now go over some common end-of-period reports built into Avamark. But before we get started, Let's do a quick review on how to print the period reports. Simply go to Work with Reports, select the appropriate time period, and which reports you'd like to print. This is done by selecting the report and utilizing the left arrow to add the report to the Print These column. Finally, click Print. Income by Treatment Report this report provides a detail of income received for each treatment and item totaled by category. This report can be run with the inclusion of report codes. For example, if L is set up for laboratory treatments and items, and you want to print out an income report for only those things pertaining to lab, just type in L in the report code field. Only the treatments and items with this report code, or categories marked as such, will print on this report. 
Let's now review the information included on the Income by Treatment report. Income. This is the amount that has been charged to a client's accounting. Percentage total. This is the percent of income that this treatment or item makes up of the total percentage of the category. This is calculated by the income divided by the total income for the category. Usage. This is the quantity entered when the treatment or item was entered into medical history. Expense. This amount comes from the average cost field for inventory items, which is calculated by average cost multiplied by quantity entered into medical history. And for treatments, this amount only comes from inventory that is linked through the inventory using the average cost for the items multiplied by the quantity. Months, the total quantities dispensed for that month. Period totals. The period totals report provides total payments, production by provider, taxes, etc. This is one of the most common reports printed at the end of the year. The information contained in this report include totals for payment types. This is all payment types taken for the period along with a count for how many times the payment type was entered into Avamark. Average and percentage. This will be the average amount of each payment type and the percentage of the payment type. Production by provider. This is the actual amount charged during this time frame, not what was actually paid to the doctor. Count. This displays the number of times the doctor has appeared on invoices. The average column will display the average invoice amount for each doctor and the percentage column will display the percentage of production for each provider. Total invoices. This is the total amount of treatments, items, diagnoses, or problems for all doctors, the number of invoices, and the average invoice amount. Late charges and adjustments. This is the number of times appearing on invoices and the average amount. Tax totals. This will include total state and local tax values, along with the amount that was actually taxed. Total charges. This is calculated by the total production by provider plus tax amounts. Net change in AR. This is calculated by the total charges minus the total payments and this amount should reconcile with the account summary. New clients. The number of new clients for the reported period. And lastly, patient visits. This is the number of closed invoice each patient is listed on. If a client brings in two pets and they are on the same invoice, it will count as two visits. If you'd like to see a report that will include expenses, you will first need to ensure that you have your costs entered for both your treatments and inventory items. There are some Avamark reports that will display the expense amount when selling inventory or providing services. Print either the Income by Treatment report or the Transaction Summary to see the expense of treatments and items sold. Expense is calculated by either the average cost of the item or the cost of the treatment. If you have a treatment that has a cost field entered or items linked to the treatment, also known as inventory used, this will be the expense of a treatment. If you have an item, Avamark will track how much it cost you to keep that item in stock over time. This will be the average cost in the Purchasing tab of the Change Item window. Any of the previously mentioned reports can be printed to Excel. The only requirement is that you must have Excel installed on the computer you're printing the report from. In the End of Period Reports window, choose the drop-down for Print To and select Excel. Use the account adjustments when you need to modify a client's balance but there is no money changing hands. 
An example of this would be recording customer write-offs. This is done by simply clicking on the speed bar button in the client information display to open the client's accounting window. Choose right-click New. Select Account Adjustment from the Type drop-down list. In the field underneath the Type field, you can backspace out Account Adjustment and fill in the reason as to why you're adjusting their account. Enter the negative dollar amount in the Amount field, then click Done on the Payment window. One thing to remember, if you're using the Income by Provider Report to pay doctors at your practice, all account adjustments will look like a payment on that report. Printing last year's invoices for a client. If you have a customer that requests a copy of their invoices for the year, you can simply print this from the accounting area of Avomark. Open the client's file on the client information display. Click on the dollar sign to open the client's accounting window. From the print menu, select History. This will allow you to print an accounting history for this client for the time frame selected. If there are additional reports that you require, the technical support team can assist you with running information searches in your database. Inactive clients. This search will help you find all clients that have not been to your practice for a period of time. This allows you to mark those clients as inactive. Most practices run this search for either a two-year or three-year period. You can make it for whatever time frame you wish. New clients. This search will help you find all new clients that have come into the practice during a specified time frame. Top clients. You can run an information search to find a list of your top clients. Some practices have a specific number in mind, such as top 100 clients. However, you can use this search by specifying the amount of clients you'll need. This search is based upon fiscal sales. If there is some other way you're looking for top clients, please call technical support at 877-838-9273. Use the address below to access a web page displaying the code that you can copy and paste into your code editor window by opening a blank information search window and clicking on the view menu and code editor. Contacting customers from information search results. After the information searches are ran and the list of customers acquired, you may want to reach out to those customers personally. There are several different ways that this can be done. If you'd like to print out the information search results, simply click on the Print To drop-down arrow to choose the appropriate printer you're sending the results to. Avamark defaults to having the Print Results option selected, and you'll want this checked when printing the results. To view the results and the report layout before printing, click the Preview. When ready to print, Simply click Print. Documents can also be printed to send specific customers a customized letter. To print documents for clients and patients found in the search, you'll want to use the Merge to Document option. In the Print Query window, select the Merge to Document option. From the Document field, click the Search or Browse button. Locate the document, select it, and click Open to display the document name in the Document field. Click on the Sort By drop-down arrow to choose how you wish to sort the documents. If multiple patients belonging to one client are listed in the search results, you can print one document for the client instead of one for each patient by clicking the One Per Client option. Click Print when ready to print the documents. After running the search, you can also print postcards for the clients found in the search. In the Print Query window, click on the Print To drop-down arrow to select the printer you're sending the postcards to. You'll then want to check the Print Postcards option. To begin entering the text, click the Postcard Text Setup, and this will display a note window allowing you to enter the desired text and appropriate merge words. 
Click Done once the text has been entered. Use the per page drop down arrow to select how many postcards will be printing on one page. To sort the postcards by a default sort of zip code, client name, or account, click on the Sort by drop down arrow and select the desired option. If the client has multiple patients that were found on the search, check the One per Client option to print only one postcard per family. Then click Print when ready to print the postcards. If using the information search to print letters or documents to the group of clients found in a search, you can also print mailing labels for those clients. Once again, in the Print Query window, click on the Print To drop-down arrow to select the printer that will be used for printing the mailing labels. Click the Print Mailing Labels option to define the mailing label settings. From the Style drop-down arrow, choose the style Avamark should print the labels in. Click on the Sort By drop-down arrow to sort the labels by zip code, client name, account, or the default sort. Click Print when ready to begin printing the labels. You also have the option to email selected customers after running a search. From the Results menu, click Email. Select the Message text box to enter the email text in an Avamark note window. Click Done after entering the text. To send one email per client, check the One Per Client checkbox. Use the Attached File Browse button to search for a file you wish to include with the email. This could be a document, photo, PDF, etc. Click on the Reply To drop-down arrow to select the Reply email address, which is found in your Advanced Options. When ready to send the email, simply click Send. Once again, as always, if you have additional questions, please don't hesitate to contact our technical support team at 877-838-9273.